On-Page SEO. On-Page optimization leads to better search ranking for your website and also increases traffic, which improves the conversion rate. The elements of the website that could use your help are both text and pictorial. You must also consider the HTML code at the back end and the user experience at the front end of the website. There is also off-page optimization, which is the work you need to do outside your own website, which includes external links and social media platforms. But let's focus on the on-page factors for now. This is the next important factor in search engine optimization after keyword research. It lets you tweak all the technical elements of the web page to improve your chances at search engine rankings. Number one, content. Now, you know that the content of the website is under your control. The same way, technical details are also up to you, and not just the programmers. But on-page SEO optimization also starts with content. The page is deemed to be good by a visitor only when the content is useful to them. It is the first and the only thing that matters to them. The same is true for search engines, because the user is their priority. Good content, when it comes to SEO, can be defined as information that meets the user's demand and has a good number of resourceful and authoritative links. Number two, title tag. Then there is the title tag, the second critical on-page optimization factor. So, the title tag is an HTML tag that exists in the header section of every web page. This is the first piece of context on your web page. It can be seen in your browser window and the SERP. Number three, URL. After internal linking, the next factor to consider for on-page SEO is the order of the categories on your website. Let's do this with an example. If your URL looks like https colon slash slash www.websitename.com slash US News slash Washington, it's a good one because it goes in the right order, because it goes from overall US News to Washington in particular. Search engines use this information to understand the relevance of a web page. Number four, meta description. Then there is the meta description which has been important right from the early days of SEO. This is the description that comes right after the title of your page on the search engine results page. It gives the user a peek into the content of your page and is extremely important. Number five, headlines. This is another critical part of search engine optimization. A good headline for your blog posts seems like an obvious answer. But you would be surprised at how many websites completely ignore keyword research for this element. A good headline not only generates user interest, but also helps you stand out from the crowd on the search engine results page. Number six, user experience. And finally, there is the issue of the user experience on the front end. Most users are likely to be non-technical people who would like to be able to find what they want right away, or at least with some amount of ease. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.